Finally. God, it took forever to get here. It shouldn't be this hard to get here from the parlor, but it looks like everyone's wanting a night in the town. Well, at least I'm here now. But where are you? Oh, hey. There's my favorite bartender. I was just looking for you. I was starting to think you weren't working tonight. Thankfully, you're here and all is right with the world. Oh, and thanks for the drink. You know, you're the only one who knows how to make it right, I swear. No one makes it as good as you do. Uh, no offense to anyone else here, but you're the only bartender I'll order from. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even come to this overpriced, pretentious shithole. Sorry. Sorry, I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad place, it's just... stuffy, you know? It's full of snobby people who just won't get off their high horse and stop looking down on everyone. They come here just to brag about how much better than everyone they think they are. You guys aren't bad, it's just the people you guys serve can be some real jackasses. Oh, hey. I'm not just another one of the jackasses you serve. I, unlike them, am very humble and sweet. Also, I'm your favorite customer, so I'm clearly better than them. Well, if I'm not your favorite customer, then uh, I guess I need to try harder. So, my dearest, sweetest bartender, what could I possibly do to earn your favor? Hmm? How can I, your love-struck admirer, earn a spot in your good graces? And, uh, while I'm at it, a spot in your heart? Ah, oh, nothing? There's really nothing I can do? What a tragedy. <laughs> To be so cruelly denied a chance at the heart of the one I admire and adore oh so much. Ah, uh, I suppose then that I shall stop making an effort to do all those things you told me not to do. <laughs> oh, things like stealing from other patrons or sneaking in after hours to steal alcohol. Or coming here when I'm beat up after a fight. I guess I'll just keep doing all those things, since you said it doesn't matter what I do. Oh, what a shame, because I'd be happy to do them otherwise. Oh, so you're saying there is a way to your heart, then? Huh. And if I keep doing all those things, I'll be on my way to it? So, then, does that mean I was already plucking the lovely strings of that heart of yours, huh? I've always heard it's the small acts over time that win the heart over. Are you, perhaps, already beginning to fall for me? Hmm? <laughs> Only making up for the trouble I've caused. Oh, but I've never caused any trouble. I'm an absolute angel. A complete sweetheart. <laughs> you know, at least while I'm here. Can't say the same for outside these doors. But I already said I was sorry for throwing a bottle at that guy who was bitching at you because of the prices. I know it was a lot of paperwork for you, but he deserved it. And I brought you some donuts the next day to apologize. Well, if it wasn't about that, then what is it about? I haven't caused trouble for you aside from that incident. Uh, well, you know, that one wasn't really my fault since... I couldn't help that I was bleeding on the floor after that fight. I was... Uh, I only stole three bottles. It wasn't even that many. I, Hey, I did apologize for that. I brought you roses and said I was sorry on a little card. Just because I gave you my phone number on the card doesn't mean that I wasn't sorry. I just saw a chance to give you my number while apologizing, and I took it. Two birds with one stone and all that. Yeah, I saw that card in the trash on my way out, but at least you kept the flowers. Now don't try to lie and say you didn't, because I know you did. 
I saw those roses in a vase on the end of the counter when I came back the next day. You, uh, like flowers then? So, uh, if I were to bring you more flowers, you would keep those ones too? Only probably. <laughs> well, I guess that's just a risk I'll have to take, isn't it? Any chance of getting closer to you is something I'm happy to do. Not to mention a pretty thing like you deserves pretty gifts. Though I gotta say, they can't compare to you at all, but, uh, I doubt anything could. Of course I'm a shameless flirt. For you and you only, my darling heartbreaker. <laughs> you make it hard for me to stop thinking about you, even when I haven't seen you in forever. Hmm? I just thought the nickname would fit you well. A darling heartbreaker. Someone who breaks hearts, but you can't help but love them anyway. That's exactly you, isn't it? You're the sweetest, most charming crusher of hearts around. Hey! Oh yeah, go ahead. I won't stop you from doing your job, as much as I wish I could keep you all to myself. Ah, fuck. Do I even have a chance with them? After all the shit I've pulled and trouble I've caused them? Well, it seems like every time I come in here, something shitty happens, and they end up having to be the one that deals with it. Half the time, it's not even my fault, but I'm somehow involved. It's like the universe just has it out for me whenever I come in here. Everything will be going just fine until I sit down at this bar and take one single look at them. Maybe I'm just a bad luck charm for them. I'm sure I'm the last person they'd want to date. By which I mean I'm the last person they'd want to date besides that jackass. Just what the fuck do they think they're doing, huh? Trying to grab them like that? Can't that moron see they aren't interested? No one likes drunk, entitled assholes who can't keep their filthy hands to themselves. But of course he just has to go leaning over the counter like that, trying to grab their arm and make them drop everything. Ugh, and that was their favorite... <sighs> Damn it, doesn't this guy know when to knock it off? This jackass needs to get the message and kick bricks. Hey, don't you dare fucking touch them like that. <laughs> Stay the hell away from them, shithead. You hear me? Leave them the fuck alone. Hey, you okay? I saw the way this asshole was trying to get his hands on you. Hey, wait. Where are we going? Shouldn't we wait until security comes to get him, just to be sure? Oh, right. Yeah, I guess I would be escorted out, too. But I'm sure they know me by now. They'll be gentle with me when they throw me into the street. <laughs> I mean, no, they haven't been before, but who's to say they won't start today? I'm an eternal optimist. Every day is a new day, as they say, and, you know, maybe today they'll be nice to me. Maybe, just maybe, they'll gently set me on the curbside rather than tossing me to it. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no way they won't take the chance to give me a few more bruises. They're so protective over you. Which is sweet, but, uh, I think they actually hate me for some reason. Maybe it's because I seem to be the main cause of trouble around here. Especially when it comes to you. What do you think? Ah. You know what they say. No rest for the wicked. And you, my dear bartender, are incredibly wicked. <laughs> yeah, you are. Wickedly hot. <laughs> ah, oh, fuck, shit, ow. Ah, are there cuts on my face? Well, I mean, I was there during the fight, so I remember I got hit by that cup. I guess I didn't realize that any of it actually cut my face. Or, uh, are there a lot? Oh. Oh, damn. 
That's, uh, more than I was hoping for. Well, yeah, okay, any glass is more than I was hoping for, but that's just, uh, ow. How did I not feel that? Right, right, yeah, the adrenaline. <laughs> and now the adrenaline rush is starting to wear off, which is not ideal. Not ideal at all. Ah. Fuck. Ow. Shit. Mm. Mm. Wait, isn't this the break room? Like, the employee break room? A place where I shouldn't be? Uh, that was one time, and, and I think security dragged me out of here before the door even shut. <laughs> uh, it's different when I'm actually being invited back here. And by invited, I mean firmly led back here. Which, uh, I don't mind at all, since you're the one doing it. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you know I'm gonna flirt if I get a chance. You're too good to resist. Just, uh, just sit down at the table. Is that a first aid kit? You guys keep one back here? Oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, I guess. I guess any place that has alcohol and breakable dishes is bound to need something to fix up injuries. <sighs> ah! Mmm. Speaking of which, you, uh, got anything for pain? If we're gonna be fixing me up, I think that I might want something to take the edge off. Ah. Uh, I have to admit, I was thinking something more like ibuprofen, but, uh, instead of medicine, it looks like you gave me a bottle of... What is this, cherry moonshine? <laughs> Listen, I know you're not a doctor, but, uh... Oh, right, yeah. I always forget about the no-combining medicine and alcohol thing. And I guess I've already been drinking. <sighs> well, you know, it's not exactly something I have to remember often, so I don't really think about it. It's not every day I have a need for both at the same time. Uh, I guess you're right on that one. Pass the moonshine, bartender. The sooner we get this started, the sooner we get this done. Ah, fuck, that stings. Mmm. Mmm. Nah, both, really. Though I was talking about the sterilizing alcohol rather than the stuff for drinking. Mmm. Seriously, though, this, uh, this moonshine is some good stuff. Where'd you get it? Oh, think I've heard of them before. They're, uh, downtown, right? Down the street from the arcade? Yeah, I passed their store on the way to work. I've never gone in there, but if you like them so much, I guess I'll have to give them a shot. Ooh, fuck! Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just give me a little warning before you start on my face. It's a bit more sensitive, okay? Ah. Hmm? Was I staring? Sorry, I, uh... Guess I just got caught up in looking at you. Oh, God. That really sounded like a pickup line, didn't it? Shit, that's, that's my bad. Sorry. I mean, it's the truth, but, uh... I didn't mean to actually say it out loud. Uh... You know, if it means anything to you... I'm not flirting with you because I want to be in your good books. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I do want that, but, uh... The flattery and compliments and flirting... All of that is kind of its own thing. Well... I think everyone wants the people they admire to like them back. So, of course I want you to like me. Being on your good side means that I get to hang around you more. And maybe even get you to enjoy spending time with me, too. You matter to me more than random strangers I meet at parties or clients I enjoy talking to. I know I'm a social person and that I have a way with people. I've just always been good at talking, but uh, I like talking to you more than anyone else. I know I'm always joking around and complimenting people, but the flirting, the, the praise, the sweet talk is... Well, that's just for you. <laughs> what, do you think I flirt with everyone I meet? Hold on. 
You actually thought I was the kind of person to just hit on anyone who I found attractive enough? No, of course not. I'd never lead someone on like that. I'm not that kind of jackass. When I genuinely want to be with someone, I'm not going to waste time trying to be with someone else. You're the only one I want, so, uh, you're the only one who I flirt with. Haven't you realized that? Of course it's you. Who else would it be? There's no one else I could possibly want when you're right in front of me. Even when you're not in front of me, you're always on my mind. I can't stop thinking about you. Ever since I first laid eyes on you, you've been all I wanted. I can't even begin to tell you how fucking bad I want you. <laughs> I've been coming here for years now, and every single time I do, all I can think about is how much I wish you'd give me a chance. But, uh, I'm not gonna try asking for that. Hell, I'm lucky I can just come here and talk sweet at you without you kicking me out. At this rate, I couldn't even blame you if you did. But I keep coming back here because every time I think about you, I feel the tiniest little spark of hope that maybe, if I can keep from dragging any more trouble to your doorstep, you'll, uh, think about it. About what? Well, like I said, about giving me a chance. Just one chance to prove to you that we match, that we fit together. You and I have something, or, well, we could have something if we just gave it a shot. What do you mean? Of course I do. That's what I just said. You're the only person I want. You and only you. <laughs> you thought I was joking? No, I mean every word. Every single time I say that you're beautiful, that I could spend hours looking at you, I, I mean it. When I tell you that your mind is amazing and that watching you work is fascinating, I mean it. I'm not just giving you little bullshit sweet nothings. You deserve to hear the truth about yourself. There's so many things about you that are just... God, how do I even describe it? You are like no one I've ever met before, and now that I've noticed that, I can't stop thinking about it. You are so much more than everyone else I've dated. There's just something about you that makes you seem more vivid, like you just drench the world around you in color. Everything about you is so distinctly you. There's no other way to describe it. <sighs> you are you. And that's what makes me so attracted to you. Genuinely attracted to you. Not just cute enough to tease between flings attracted. Not just a quick night together attracted. I mean, the heart-pounding, red-in-the-face, can't-stop-finding-more-reasons-to-fall-for-you kind of attracted. <laughs> Believe me. If this was just some little game for me, I would have quit a long time ago. But I'm still here. Still laying my heart out for you. Because I mean it. Because I want you to see all of what I'm feeling. And I want you to know that these feelings of mine aren't going anywhere. Yes, really. Did you really not know? <laughs> well, I gotta say... Smart as you are, I can't believe you didn't see it sooner. I mean, I wasn't trying to hide it. The opposite, actually. I was really, really upfront about it. I just don't know how you didn't realize that I meant it. Every single word since we first met. From the second you dragged me away from that fight I got into with the old manager and had to take me to the clinic for my concussion. I have meant every single word I've said to you. Yes. <laughs> Even the very first words I said to you. Do you remember what my first words to you were? Oh god, I didn't think you'd actually remember that. <laughs> uh, though I think my exact phrasing was, uh, please help me clean the blood off my mouth so you don't taste it when we kiss. <laughs> uh, bold words, even by my standards, but 
I'll go ahead and blame it on the concussion and the alcohol. Hmm? Is there something on my mouth? Ah, did I really cut my lip again? <laughs> Old habits die hard, I guess. It's not even a surprise by now. <clears throat> hey, it's, uh... It's taking you a while to clean it up. Is the cut pretty deep? I can, uh... I can hardly feel it. Oh, just a lot of blood then. Makes sense. At least this time I didn't swallow any. Yeah. I think almost everyone hates the taste of blood. I don't blame you at all. What? Our first kiss? You... You said that you don't want our first kiss to taste like blood? Well, it, it just makes it seem like you want to kiss me. You... you do? You want to kiss me? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, you can kiss me if you want to. I'd be more than happy to kiss you. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, that was... that was incredible. I'm just lost for words. You've got me speechless. Can you blame me? I've wanted that for so long, and now here you are, right in front of me, kissing me. I've wanted this from the very second I laid eyes on you, and... Wait, it, it didn't taste like blood, right? Oh, oh thank God. Oh, I was worried it would, and you'd be disgusted. Tasted like cherry? Oh, must be from the moonshine. Well, uh, if you like the taste of it so much, then you should kiss me again. I'm more than happy to let you get another taste. Hmm. So, uh, does this mean that we're going to give us a chance? Hmm. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll take that as a yes. Hmm. Hmm. I'm so excited to be with you. I'm going to make you the happiest person ever. You won't regret this, I promise. You and I are going to be great together. I just know it. 